we've got the Pro-Till drill. One of their unique like selling points of their drill, the coulters. So the coulters can move side to side so where the front uh, cultivation leg is creating the cultivation strip. If you went around a bend, the, the, the coulters are always staying in the, you know, the cultivation strip and they can they independently up and down. So the hydraulic pressure that keeps the coulter in puts pressure on the press wheel. It follows the contours of the ground, but you can also refine it. So in the middle of the drill, you might want it slightly shallower or behind the tractor wheels a little bit deeper. So you've got adjustments because they're all they all work independently of each other. But yeah, the soils are changing. Yeah, we I do go out with my spade and I'm looking for worms, which you know, is a bit of a strange hobby. Um, and I was doing it the other day, and you're you sort of finding, you know, I've read something on the on the leaf website that is it between 10 and 15 worms per metre squared is a is a really healthy soil. Well, the other day I was digging after a, a mustard cover crop. I had 30 worms on one spadeful. Uh, and some other soils you sort of get in between 10 and 12, but that's on a spade, so a foot square of soil. It's just doing the minimum required to A, get a good, establish a good crop, but a lot of it is just letting nature get on with its, its job because nature will always find a way. And yeah, you, you sort of go digging now four years in where the soil hasn't been turned over for four or five years. You, you're starting to build up that, you know, that organic matter in the surface and it's, we know that it, it can, it takes a lot to break down straw because of the carbon to nitrogen ratio, but it's adding organic matter to the soil, it's adding P and K, you're not exporting that off the farm when you're you know, baling it and selling it. But yeah, it, it breaks down, it, it increases, you know, makes the soil more workable, um, adds the organic matter. Um, so yeah, we're, we're chopping where we, where, we, you know, where we can and where we need to. Um, because there's no, we don't have any issues with the machine drilling into it. And because of what we're doing, it's massively reduced our establishment costs. You know, at the minute, I have no real effect on, on commodity prices. I can look for you know, different markets or premiums, but you know, farmers aren't in charge of that. That's you know, sort of out of your hands. But what is in our hands is, is, is what it costs to get you know, that ton of wheat or ton of oilseed rape. So with us being tenants, we, you know, we're, we're really focused on cutting our costs um, and this machine offers it. So in some instances, we're down to sort of establishing crops for 50, 60 pounds a hectare. Well, you know, before that we were double, maybe more than that. Um, but yeah, we're averaging, I would say, half of what we were spending um, before. Um, and it's quantifying time, you know, we're sort of at drilling time, it's a lot of the time it's just you on your own in, in a field. Um, whereas before we were sort of at drilling time, there could be three, four of us in a field. And it's that labour, diesel cost, machinery cost that, that switch into a, a strip till, you know, no till system um, offers. Um, and it does give you a bit more time on your hands, you know, it's, I've got a young family. Uh, before we were strict, switched to strip till, I mean, harvest time, I wasn't, I was never off a tractor seat. Um, and yeah, I've got a young family. It does give you that bit of time on a weekend to sort of spend with them, um, which in my eyes is, when you sit back, is more important sometimes than farming.